Fly! Fly, little birdie! I wonder why she needed my help back at the entrance to Dragon Roost Cavern, because she can fly just fine from what I'm seeing right now. So this is what you were supposed to do in order to move on. So I'm just gonna head back down, pick up Medley again. I, again, I can't stress this enough, pick her up, otherwise... If you go through without her, even though she would be right next to the door, she doesn't go through! Now, this room is home to a new enemy that we're going to see probably once we get rid of these chews. I'm just going to pull out my boomerang to make it easier on myself. Kill those green ones. And you can see it over... No! I usually map the boomerang to the Z button. That's why that happened. But yeah, you can see... Uh, the dark uh, blue chew over there is, well, it's it, it's dark blue, but, or even purple, it's hard to tell, really. But, officially, it's a black chew. But we are supposed to take them down. Simply shine a very bright light on them. And then throw them when they're petrified. Now, if you try attacking them, this happens! So, you really, absolutely need to have them go in the light somehow. You can also smash them with the skull hammer if uh, if you swing that way. Let's see, can I? Nope. Probably. Well, I, I can. I just failed at doing it. And I guess there's... Okay, I was wondering. There was a... I remember there being more than two black shoes in there. Something else you can do to make things... Um, sorry about that. I sort of forgot how the command melody went for a second there. Um, something that will make it easier on you to take down those black shoes. Take control of Medley. Go in the light. Press A. And suddenly, your harp is going to be used as a mirror. So, you can then shine that beam of light on them and just smash them. So, we kill them all, which is a requirement for being able to move on. But we're not quite done with this room just yet. I'm going to take back control of medley for a second because I am going to show you a few other things that uh, you can do with that light in this room. So first, shine it on this outline of a treasure chest over there and it's going to materialize. Sort of what happened on Windfall Island when we uh, when we uh, lit up the lighthouse. You can also shine the light at those statues and they're going to crumble into dust. Whoever thought this was a good idea to put them there should definitely fire their interior decorator. Uh, I was I was sort of trying to get to get it to crumble by just you know standing in the light and not actually aiming. That would have been cool as hell, but didn't work out that way. So let's take a look at what's in the chest. I think it's a treasure. No, it's not a treasure chart. That's right. I'm forgetting we're in the dungeon right now. See, this is how those side quests have corrupted me. This is the dungeon map. So, um, it works the same way as in all other dungeons, so I don't need I don't think you need me to repeat that. Here we go! That's what you're supposed to do. I think you can also blow these up with a bomb, but uh, it's cooler and more economic to just do it with a hammer. So, um now, in this room, you can see this giant statue of, of a sun with suns as eyes. Yo, dog, I heard you like suns. What you're supposed to do here now, take control of Medley once again, trust me. We're going to be doing that a lot in this dungeon, in the next one as well. So get ready for lots of Command Melody action. So, shine that light into that blue fog. I'll get into what it does in a minute. You're going to see um, a switch you can press with the skull hammer. So, we're going to go do that. This blue fog, what it does, if you go inside it, you're not, gonna, you're not going to be able to attack for a few seconds. And uh, the, 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 we're, I say a few seconds, but it's a very long few seconds. Really annoying when you... When you're under... It. No, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to... Okay, we're good. We're good. Because there is something that's going to appear soon in this room. And it's not here yet. So I I would have almost threw, uh, thrown Medley into imminent death. So let's just dispose of these guys. And now, moving on. If I recall, yep. We got um, another um, light source here that's blocked by, well, a block. So you just have to pull this block 
And... Let there be light! So, now that that's done, want to assume control of Millie again? I am... I'm, I'm just really hoping that it hasn't crossed Link's mind to do all sorts of dirty things to her while he's in control of her. But, you know, Link probably hasn't gone through puberty yet, so probably has no idea he even can to begin with. So, I believe in this chest we have a small key. Am I right? I probably am, because in the last room there was a locked door that I didn't take a look at because I knew it was a locked door. And here we go. Small key. Now, uh, there's a rumor... OH SHIT! OH MY GOD! FLOWER MASTERS! I'm just gonna put her here, hope nothing happens to her. Go in there real quick. Yeah, I need to come back here a bit later on in order to be able to do anything. And, yeah, okay, I think she's at, back at the entrance of the room. Oh my god, I hate Floor Masters. I hate them so much! Okay, well, at least they're easy to avoid in that kind of context, but they're going to be a real pain in the ass later. Trust me on that one. So, um, now there's nothing to do here for now, so let's just go through this door. And, ah, yes, this room. I remember this room. I'm just going to pull out my bow because we're going to be needing it in a bit. There are more chews to fight, including some black chews. One odd thing about black chews is that they're only found in rooms where there is, you know, that bright light or possibilities of bright light, as we're going to see. I guess they aren't really affected by natural selection, are they? Then again, maybe those uh, those light beams are like super beacons from Metroid Prime 2, you know? They've got a dark component that attracts enemies, and then a light component that obliterates them, so... I don't know, maybe that's how it works? I don't know, I'm just making shit up at this point. So what you were supposed to do, as hinted by that small light that came out of, of that uh, particular uh, curtain... Uh, okay, so I, 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 was, I, was, I was wondering if it was glitched out for a second. So, we're just going to let them jump straight into the light. It's faster than just taking control of Medley. You don't want to, f to, to kill them. Instead, you want to use them to press those two switches. I'm going to repeat, do not kill them! Otherwise, you're going to have to, to to leave this room and come back in order to respawn them. I think we all did that mistake the first time we played this game. But, anyway, now that we're up there, just going to take this block down real quick. That opens the door, and I think it was mandatory anyway to get Medley through here. So I'm just going to smash these bastards because it's just so... Oh, come on! Okay, come back here. Thank you very much. Okay, now, these three. Do I want to kill them? Well, nah. I'm just going to take control of Melly though, since I think I have to. I'm going to fly her up there, and then get up there, and, you know, I'm, ju I'm just going to I'm just gonna let these live, because it would just be too tedious to, to go through the process of killing them all, even. Uh, especially when they don't give all that much, only chew jelly, which we have plenty of at this point. So... Yeah, not much else to say, but let's move on to the next room, which, if I remember, is going to be more block puzzles! Oh, joy! So let's go through this door, and... OH MY GOD! FLOOR MASTERS! Oh god, and I'm gonna have to fight this one, huh? Okay, at least it's the easy AI. I'm gonna come back to the various types of Floor Master AI later. So, what you wanna do, the easy way to take them out, Ice Arrow, Skull Hammer, boom! No more Floor Master. Of course, it can't always be that easy, otherwise they would be pushovers. And they are known to be anything but. But we're gonna get to that a bit later. So! made some light in this room, so that is going to be our cue to assume control of Medley once again. I It really would have been more fun if, you know, uh, the, the way to go from character to character was a bit more, you know, quick, but 
Oh well, it could, it could be a lot more convoluted, so I guess I should count my blessings. So, this is broken down, so you can also break down walls that have these... Uh, I guess these are supposed to be sun marks or something? Anyway, this is the second... Um, Vase uh, for the for this dungeon, which uh, which uh, you can use to warp to uh, various areas, and uh, so I suppose now that the statue is gone on that thing, Link is strong enough to push it over there. There is a chest that appears up on that ledge, but I can't get up there because I was a dumbass and uh, uh, left control of Medley too soon. So. Sorry, we're wasting a bit of time here, but if you were under any delusions that this was a speed run, especially after the side quest session from hell, then, um, you're completely hopeless. Uh, can I get up there? I guess it's not really necessary, but hey, easily destructible furniture. Why not go all the way with it? So, um, I guess all I have to do now is push that block over there. Block puzzles are really hard to commentate over because they ju there just isn't anything going on, especially in a game like Wind Waker where they're, for the most part, obvious as day. Okay, I wonder why I needed to do that to unlock the door considering it's mandatory to even get up there. And let's throw Medley up there. Just to, uh, don't forget that it's an option if you can do so. And, uh, by the way, if if you smack her into a wall, like I think we did once on a Dragon Roost Island, she's going to be like, uh, she's going to have stars around her head and she's going to talk funny and shit. So the compass in this dungeon has an added function. With it, in this dungeon, you can assess Medley's location at any time, as the King of Red Lions is helpfully telling us, but even if he didn't tell us, I would te tell you because of just how nice uh, I am. So, in this room, new enemies, as you can see, two moblins. However, there are two poles to accompany them. Now poles are very different from... Holy crap! <laughs> that thing took half damage from a dying moblin that kept, that kept running into it over and over. So, as you can see, that pole just attacked me. And for now, there isn't anything I can do about it. So, I'm just going to go up there just to be safe from any further Poe attacks while I'm in control of Medley. What you're supposed to do is take control of Medley, and as you probably know by now, or well, maybe not know, but at least figured it out even if you have never played this game, you're supposed to shine that beam of light at them using Medley's harp, and that's going to make them solid. Something that I would like to mention about Poe's is that they have another attack that we haven't seen, that they can possess you, and when they do possess you, well, your controls are all out of whack. It's sort of hard to explain, but I, I, guess, I guess it's going to happen sooner or later in this LP, which is why I'm not going to do it on purpose, especially because of how annoying it is. But when you're possessed, if you, by some random chance, run into a beam of light, it's going to kill the Poe instantly, so at least that's that. So, let's just make that thing solid, and attack! Here we go! Now let's just take those, um, piñatas, since, so uh, we've been injured in this room a bit by those poles. Okay, this sun mark, we can't do anything about it just yet, so instead, uh, we're just going to move on to the next room, I guess. And, uh... Oh, shit! The door is locked! Well done! Well done, Slowflake! I would slow clap myself, but unfortunately I have a controller in my hands. So, sort of hard to do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do is something that I completely forgot to do. Is that we're going to make these statues crumble. There's going to, uh be a treasure chest behind them, so I'm just going to destroy them. Sort of hard to aim from this far away since the beam has to be su sustained at one of them in order to crumble. And besides, we're just about out of time for today, so yes, I'm still bound by that time limit, thanks for asking, so I guess 
The remainder will have to be done next time.